Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin here. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at Ryan Nangle's preset package for Lightroom that he just released, do a little bit of a review on it and just kind of show you guys some examples in case you're interested in picking it up. Uh, if you aren't sure who Ryan Nangle is, he's a popular YouTuber, uh, does a lot of Final Cut Pro and video editing tutorials. Highly recommend you give him a follow. Uh, he's a great guy to follow on YouTube, especially if you're doing Final Cut Pro or just video editing in general. Uh, so first off, there's two folders in this preset package. You're getting a ton of presets. We've got the RN presets and the RN base presets. Um, I'm going to get into a couple issues that I had. Uh, so a couple of these presets, this is something that he can fix and it's not really a big deal, but a couple of these presets have some uh, stuff done to this transform tab. So this one has a bit of a scale, which you probably don't really want on a preset. You don't want to mess around with the size or the scale and the rotation, which is something that this London bridge preset has. Uh, I think a couple other presets might have it, but this one's got some rotation and some scale. So that's probably something that you don't really want uh, when you're going through your presets. You don't want the photo to be changing its rotation or its scale. So another uh, problem that I saw was if you see here, the right side of this image is dark. I think that's something that this uh, landscape five preset does. But if you go to switch to a different preset, for some reason that dark uh, side of the image stays there. So I'm not sure why it does that, um, but let's kind of reset the image here. So those are a couple problems that I saw with the presets, but other than that, I've really enjoyed a lot of these presets and I'll go through some of them here. Uh, so for this dog photo, this is my dog here. Uh, there was a couple that I liked. My favorite is probably Japan too. So it's kind of just a desaturated look, just kind of my style for these photos. Uh, here's the original on the left. Here's with the preset. If you want to run through some other ones, something like Moody might be a good one. Uh, but there's definitely um, a couple presets that I would use without making much changes afterwards. Something like this I would probably use. Uh, just depends on your style. Uh, moving on to the next photo here. This is one that I really like. I downloaded it off the internet. Not my image, but uh, I used it in a past video and it gives you a good idea for some of these presets. So I've got a couple written down here that I really liked. We'll go down to Moto first. Um, so again, it might not be your style, but I, I like the looks of that, bringing out the reds in the, in the image. Uh, that one looks pretty cool to me. Uh, Santorini 3 was another one. I think I might like this a little better. I might do some, might do a bit of uh, tweaking to it maybe. Let's see what it looks like bringing the highlights. Uh, I wouldn't really touch the highlights. Maybe bring the exposure up a bit, something like that. I really like the looks of that compared to the original, but that's just my style. Again, there's a lot you can see in the top left here. If I just scroll over, there's a lot of different styles you could do. St. Paul's might be something that you'd like. Um, Old Harry Rocks looks pretty cool. Again, a lot of different uh, options for this image. There's probably a, a bunch that you could throw on it would make this image look better than the original. Uh, so I really like some of these presets for that image. Uh, let's go on to a portrait. Uh, there's a couple portrait presets here. So I liked one of them quite a bit. Let me just find it here. Where is it? Portrait two. So I like this one. Uh, it depends on your style. It kind of warms up the photo, which you might not want because it is a winter photo, but um, I kind of like that for some of the, I was looking at some other portrait images and I kind of like portrait two the best. Uh, then there was another one here, depending on your style, this is kind of, um, something a little bit different, but, um, I do like that. I think might've done something to the transform on this. Let's see. Yeah. So again, we had some rotation and some scale, which you don't want. Um, but other than that, I think the style of the image looks kind of cool, depending on what you're going for. Uh, this next photo here, let's look at, we got Melbourne. I like this one quite a bit. I think that looks much better than the original photo here. Again, you always want to do some tweaking. Uh, this has some rotation to it again. So another issue with this preset, uh, you always want to do some tweaking after you throw a preset on for the most part. Um, if you're just throwing it on your personal Instagram, you don't care too much. Like I would be happy with just throwing this image up just like this. But if I was going to use it for like a product or for a client or something like that, then you would want to tweak it a little bit, maybe bring sh some shadows back into it. Something like that would look a little better because the shirt was getting, uh, looking a little kind of weird there. So that's probably what I would do. Just a quick fix like that, I think looks really sharp. Um, another preset I was looking at for this picture, Baron two, 
again, I would probably bring some shadows back a little bit because the shirt's getting a little too light. But I really lo like the looks of this one compared to the original. So there's a couple uh, good presets for this photo. And let's go to the last one here of my camera. Uh, we had clarity that I liked. Again, these are, it all depends on your style and what you're using it for. But I kind of like the looks of this. Uh, we've got a lot of clarity in there. And then another one I liked was called Fall. So I think this was a base preset. This one up here, this was a really subtle difference. There's not too much of a difference here, but I uh, like the looks. Let's see. Compared to the original, uh, not too much of a difference, but just a little subtle change that I like. Um, but overall, really happy with a lot of these presets. Um, a lot of them I was going through and I would use a lot of them on my f images. So I, it's nice to have a lot to choose from. Um, a lot of the other preset packages that I buy for Lightroom have maybe like six to 10 presets. But this is nice that he included, I don't even know how many, I would guess pff, over 30, maybe closer to 40, something like that. You had a ton of presets to play with. The only thing I wish he did was uh, fix the different presets that have the the changes to the transform uh, which if we notify him if someone emails them maybe i'll email him and tell him uh, hopefully he goes ahead and changes those makes the update to those uh, because that's a little bit of an issue when you're going through presets you don't want to have to mess around with the scaling and uh, the rotation and that kind of stuff but overall uh, great preset package it's, it's a great price i think it was 50 percent off uh, i think it was 15 dollars when i bought it but i think the original price was 30 i would still pay 30 dollars for this a lot of great presets in there and just gives you uh, more options for your photos so i highly recommend you pick it up uh, especially if you are a follower of ryan ningle's tutorials i'm sure he's helped you in the past if you do follow his tutorials so uh, it'd be a great idea to pick up his preset just to kind of thank him for those but other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll continue to do these Lightroom preset package reviews for popular YouTubers as they are released and as I pick them up. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Talk to you later.